Um, what else? Is there? <laughs> I told ya. <laughs> uh. Ben. Hello. Hello. We have uh... <laughs> It's tier list time. We're doing a tier list because it's the easiest content you could possibly make. Free content. And this I... channel's gone straight to the moon. Yeah. To the moon! To the moon! This is gonna end up on the trending page. No. <laughs> uh, no. But um... There's a bunch of tier lists on this website uh, that I found. And so we're just gonna go through a bunch of them. We've seen a few that uh, probably we won't touch. We're not gonna talk about those. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about those because it's uh, quite bad. But yep. um, we'll start off with Yu-Gi-Oh hand traps. So there's a list of most of the hand traps, pretty much all of them. I don't think anything's missing here. Maybe like, like purple? Like yeah. orange is on there, which is like a newish yeah. format thing. Yeah, so we're gonna see, uh, we've got S tier, which is you, pr you should be running this, for sure. Yes. A tier, which is like, if you can run it, run it. Yep. B tier, which is, it's good, but there are better cards. This is situational, really. Yeah. And this is terrible. Yeah. Do not use Trash cards. in this format. Um, so let's start. Ash. Uh, honestly, B tier? Yeah, I'm thinking B tier, right? It's not that great at the moment. I have a, I have a complaint. Honey Water is not on this list. Hanawato is not on this list, you are correct. It's going to be a staple at Locals tonight. Mm. Don't come to Locals tonight. I'm maybe playing FTK. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Six Samurais. Um, Do the loop. <laughs> Rice Regional. <laughs> Do the roar. Um, well, I mean, I don't know, Ash does stop dry shrimps from hand though. Yeah, but... That's kind of like once. Like, I just always main Ash just because I'm like, it hits the rogue. Yeah, yeah. But like at the moment, no, it's not very infinitely better cards. Um, Ghost Bell. I probably put that in A tier. Yeah, I probably put like, it in A tier. Yeah. I, it comes up a lot this format. Um, there was a video that went up on the channel the other day that someone was like, "You shouldn't be playing Ghost Bell right now." Yeah. It's like, it's of course like... you should be playing Ghost Bell right now. It's good against everything. It hits everything. Everything has grave effects. Everything wants to summon from grave. Uh... It's... You probably sh yeah exactly. If you've got the space to run Ghost Spell, you run yeah. Ghost Spell. Uh, Chaos Hunter. No, it's not that bad. To be fair, like stopping the banishing is okay. No, <laughs> nah, we're gonna get rid of it. Don't use it in this format. Uh, Ally of Lance, Lance here is the better option. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Ally of Justice Cycle Reader. I believe that's what this is, right? Yeah, it's an out of some. It's um. So you target it? two lights in the graveyard. Um, it, it's DD Crow, but for two lights. Doesn't it also... Does it have to be destroyed a battle to do that? No, no, no. It's a hand trap. Okay, so it's just a straight hand trap? It's a... Yeah, it's a hand trap. I ran this in Duel Links for ages, and I never ever used it. It was <laughs> simply a light machine that I could, like, trigger off to summon Desperado Barrel Dragon. Yeah, during either player's turn, discard this card, then target up to two light monsters in your opponent's graveyard, banish those targets. Okay. So I'll be real, based off that with Tritron, I'd put that probably like B tier. Yeah. Like, I, I think it's fine, to be it's honest. A, it's a fine card, maybe a sometimes. Yeah, maybe a sometimes. It's definitely not a card you wouldn't consider this format. No. No, for sure not. I've now, I had the first thought, I was like, there's not going to be cards on this list that are going to be never. But now I'm looking at this yeah. list, I'm like, there are definitely cards that are never. Yep. Uh, DD Crow. Sometimes. Yeah. I feel like. You probably want to run this over this at the moment, yeah, to be honest. It's essentially just a double D crawl against the deck. Yeah, you hit light is. targets, you hit light targets. Yeah. yeah. Uh, dimensional Shifter. So, this is where I feel like the list kind of fails. Because if you can run it... It's an ST card. It's ST. If you can't run it, it's, it's never. Yeah. It's nowhere in between these two places, I'm yeah. going to be real. There's no deck that runs this sometimes. Yeah, true. Or, if they have space... So I'm gonna be real. I think this is an S tier. Like, like it's true. It's, it's not like it goes into some decks and makes them bad. It goes into some decks and makes them good. Yeah. Some decks just can't run it. I yeah. think for me, D Shifter has to be S tier. That's, in my opinion. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that you can't activate nothing else. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I don't like. I never really consider it an S tier card for that reason, but it makes sense. Yeah, that's it's it's S tier with the proviso that your deck doesn't have issues with it. When I was streaming the other day, you said, 
some dude said that it looked a bit like a Senju monster. I mean, it kind of yeah. does, yeah. but also it's a... Sword goes up. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Ghost Sister. Now, I love this card because Stairway to Heaven, best deck. The card is fine. The card for me card. is probably... You should not be playing this card. Yeah. I, it's definitely above Chaos Hunter. Yeah. But, um, like... It's always the sort of card where it's like, if you're playing it, you are openly saying, I am going to take my opponent to time. And yeah. Like, maybe, maybe don't do that. <laughs> I feel like, it, like, it's always gone back and forth between this. It's never been higher. Yeah, no, you... It's never. a, do you want to go... Like, do you want to win in time, essentially? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, it would... It's probably here for most decks that it will just win, but if you're really stalling, it's here. Yeah. But we're going to put it here for now. Definitely. Uh, Droll. Is it S or is it A? I don't know. Because, like... So good. It's really... It probably has to be S tier, right? Droll goes through phases where it's S tier and then it's A. Like, and then it's, like, sometimes. I, I just had the realisation that I think I might get hit by Droll tonight. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna get drilled hard. Yeah, you're gonna get drilled really hard. I'm gonna go gateway add, and my opponent's gonna be like droll, and I'm gonna be like, hmm. I cannot FTK you no more. Bag of rice back into bed. <laughs> oh, the bag of rice. No, it's not gonna touch board. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go S tier. At the moment, it is. I will very definitely good. agree with it being an S tier, and I'll put it ahead of T shifter just for uh, continuity. It's gamma. Hey. So most. <laughs> This is where it just comes down to, I think this card is personal opinion. There is no other card here that you have to run a brick to put it in your deck. Yeah. There's not a single other card on this list that has um, something like, the closest thing would be like this, which is a restriction. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I feel like it makes decks worse. I say I always think it's a, it's a good card. Yeah, it's a it great card. It makes your deck less consistent. That's what it the is. The fact that you have to have no monsters also can make it bad for that reason, but yeah. hopefully in those situations you're not playing... Like, if you're the first sort of person that decides Gamma going first, you deserve for it to kind of just yeah, be a brick exactly. for you. You're the type of person who activates Meltdown, and then gets drolled, and then Gamma's that droll. You're a bad person. Yeah. I'm happy putting it at A tier, but I, I think, think it's like A-tier. low A tier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Go- Ghost Mourner. I think this card is bad. It's, at the moment. At the moment it's very bad, but it is probably a sometimes card. Yeah, no, 100%. Like, I'm not saying never use it in this format, but like... I'd say it's a low, low sometimes. Yeah. Definitely below the other two. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Ghost Reaper. Uh, yeah, that sums that one up pretty easy. Ghost uh, Reaper. Not in this format. <laughs> no. There's too much deck diversity and it's too much of a control game. Like, it doesn't really blow anyone out. The worst you're probably going to do is, like, hit your opponent's Dragoon. BFD. Yeah, but, like, they can just do other stuff. I think it's... If you have enough... Like, if you're going to a local you know everyone is playing, yeah. and you have no need for your extra deck. Yes, 100%. It's probably B tier at that point. Yeah. <laughs> like, but I'd probably... I'd Maybe be sometimes. happy with... It's somewhere like it's here, here, or here for yeah. me. Yeah. Where would you think? Uh, let's go lower sometimes. Lower sometimes, yeah. Okay. No material. Oh, you mean the card I spent a hundred dollars per copy on? What? It's no per fucking copy way. Copy. Yeah. It was. Yeesh. Uh, <laughs> I was like, it's, oh. it's, it's May. It's a hand trap. It's always going to be expensive. Yeah. And then it was 20 bucks two weeks later. Yeah, I think I got my place set. I think I just pulled my place set. It's so bad. Yeah. Uh, so sad. By the time I had even gotten to use it, it was already half its value. Yeah. Ghost Mourner does also... No, Ghost Mourner. Um, no material. It suffers from a similar thing. Of, yeah. like, that, like, this, this, I'd, and this all suffer from. I'd probably say at the moment it's a middle sometimes. I'd probably put it... Yeah? Yeah, like, it's definitely a more useful card than Ghost Warner at the moment, because it can, like, lock down the opponent. Yeah. You just wait for your opponent to summon, say, Cloud Castle, and then you just go... Well, I know Material Cloud Castle. Yeah, or even on the Magister Sling, or, like, yeah. um... It hits a lot, to be it, fair to it. It does. 
There's just better, more useful cards in the hall. You put it on top of like a, um, like a ball bow. Even. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess they're not making ball bow turn one. Like you're not controlling no cards when they're making a ball bow. Yeah. That's the thing. So yeah, I'm happy with it being there. Imperm. <laughs> I'd say probably B tier as well at the moment. Yeah. I'd, I'd put it below Ash, to be honest. Yeah. I I never I, thought it would be this bad. Like, ever. Just weirdly the cards that you just kind of always played. Yeah, it's not really... It's there. They it's just not job. helping at it, the moment. It's just not enough anymore. Yeah. Like, well, at least at the moment it's not enough. Like, one set of targeted negation just is not enough. Yeah, exactly. And I think anything above it is worth running over it. Yeah. And you only have so many spaces before you're just playing a hand trap there. Yeah. Like you did that time. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. So currently we have, like, a lot in sometimes. But that's the thing. Sometimes the cards <laughs> that you just put in and out, and sometimes a motorcycle just drives yeah, by. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought I was six stories up. Don't know how it got that close to the window, but sure. Um, Lancia. Top of eight here. Yes, yeah, yes, 100% it's top of it, yeah. Because uh, it's not good enough to be here. No. But it but is not bad enough to be below much, anything else Much here. like Droll, it is just a turn end up at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Shifter is also just a turn end up. These, these high-end cards are just all turn enders. I'm going to go move my car. Yeah. I'll be back. Well, you didn't get the parking fine, but yeah, we move on to something... But uh, when it happens to you, it's far worse. Nibiru. Getting Nibiru. Yeah. It's, uh, would I rather be Nibiru going full combo or get a parking fine? I would rather have gotten like three parking fines than getting Nibiru at YCS. True. I'm kind of be real. Um, however, this cut kind of sucks at the moment. Yeah, it kind of does. There's not a lot of like super massive combo decks that then can't recover. I think it's above Imperm, but I think it's probably below Ash. Yeah, oh, I'd be probably put it above, above Ash. Ash. Yeah, no. So because it is still a turn ender in certain situations. Yeah, like anything rogue, it's probably going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. yeah. Ghost Ogre. I think this card's actually like criminally underrated. It is. It always is. Because it's, it's good. It's just gen destroying so shit situation. is good. It's just doesn't negate though. No, it doesn't. But like, sometimes it's better to just get shit off the field. Yeah. Still. Like, I think it's in sometimes. I just don't know where. I would put it in a very, very niche spot, like a tiny little bit right here. That's yeah. somehow between DD Crow and Ally. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Because people run this card more than this card, but this card is better. No one has this card. No yep. one remembers it exists. Yeah. Um, Herald of Orange Light. Well, I don't have any fairies, so I can't activate this card. Yeah. Are you running fairies? No. Never use it in the format. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the problem is that Drytron make this uh, incredible. Really? Yeah. Same like fairies? Yeah. Mm. Like fairies. I thought they were machines. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but this card's obviously broken. Yeah, it's busted. It's again. He comes back. He returns. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mister Motorbike. We understand that you have massive genitalia. Um, <laughs> uh, no, but this is easy A tier for me. Yeah, it's not S tier, but it's from the below Lancia. Yeah, and like the. Because Drytron abuses both of these. This one, not so much at the moment, but, like, they will. Yeah. As soon as the deck gets one tiny hit, they will start abusing this. Yeah. Above no material, maybe? Above no material. How many Link decks are in this format? None? Well, it's not none, but no one runs this card. Yeah. No one runs any other cards below no material either. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, probably below no material, though. Okay. Yeah, maybe? I don't know. Because, like, I'm going to be real. Maybe it's just my play style, but I would play this before I play uh, this. I'd play Phantasmia over that. Okay, we'll put it in. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Skullmeister. What I, are you thinking, then? I think will be... I think it's better than Ash. Okay. 
In like, my opinion, it's better than Ash and Impair. I've been hit with it twice in the past two weeks, and at, by both times I've had it dropped, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I guess I lost. Yeah. That's, for me, that's what it is. So I think this card's really good. It hits you out of nowhere. That's what it is. Like, it's, it's, I think almost everything good that this hits, this also hits, but this hits extra stuff as well. Really? Yeah. Okay. Like, just generic graveyard effects. Yeah. Whereas this, like, because most of the stuff that you've ashed at the moment that's really good is Engrave. Yeah. So this hits that anyway, plus it also just hits generic grave effects. Yeah. So for mine, it's better than Ash. Yeah, I'll give that. Yeah. But probably worse than Nibiru. Yeah. I mean, it's situational. Like, it's, it's different. Token Collector, last... Uh, last format. S tier. This is the best hand trap, in yeah. my opinion. Uh-huh. This is easily the best hand trap against almost anything. Yeah. Like, almost nothing beats this. In Infernoble, Dragon Link, it just Crazy. dies. Man. However, <laughs> nothing really summons tokens. Uh, a little moment. card called Link Cross is not a thing anymore. Yeah. So I'd probably put this as the worst hand trap. Yeah, sadly. Back I would sooner run was... every single other card here, then except this, depending on deck. Up. But, yeah. Actually, I'd, just, I'd run this in a bad deck over this <laughs> at the moment. Uh, Effect Veiler, I think this one's pretty easy. I'm fairly certain it's here. <laughs> it's, yeah. Maybe, maybe here. The only time I've found that Imperm's been important to me this format is if I'm like, I need to hold this until my turn. Yeah, exactly. Whereas Veiler, you can't do that. So, yeah. No. Plus, if you're Veilering... Someone invoked. I'm gonna put this back here. Okay, it's stuck. This is not our final decision. But um, if you put it like if you hit someone with invoked, they're just gonna Alistair it away and make a mecha bar. Yeah. Like it's not. It's not. Not good. Helping. I'll be here or here. There. There. Yeah. There. Yeah. Better than yeah, because this is light as well, it's, right? It's the same. It's, I think it's a wind. The Ghost Mourner, mm. but still, the like, Ghost Mourner is the same situation where it's yeah very specific to time targeted negation. Yeah. Whereas Veil is just any time targeted negation on the opponent's turn. Alrighty, well that is That's the deep. comprehensive Yu-Gi-Oh! hand traps tier list. Except for the one hand trap that we missed that's like S tier. Misc. We forgot Misc. It's not on here. Ban immediately. Yeah. It's like... Needs to be banned. It's a... <laughs> add a row above. Ban immediately. Misc. Misc. Misc is there. Yeah. Okay. It's right here. Um, but yeah, I think that's actually like... What do you reckon the community... Do you reckon there is even community ranks? Probably not. Nothing else has had community ranks for this. Oh, we need to log in. We can't log so in. So just download it. Alright, let's check community rank. If it's there. If there is any. Because nope. when I checked before, there was. Oh, nope. someone else did. Oh. Not us. But this person's an idiot. Yeah, this person is dumb. Um, How is... Why is this doing... What? <laughs> Bro, look at Lancia. Bro, what? What is going on? This is painful. Ash S tier, by the way. Imperm AIDS tier. So but they, Imperm better than Ghost Spell they, and yeah, Herald. They had the thought to say that the Herald will be in the format. But Lancey is bad. <laughs> That's how And also, D-Shifter is somehow B-tier. Worse. Like, it's somehow low... Pa- <laughs> Where do I find this person? I need to abuse them. <laughs> there, there he is. Wait, here we go. Right there. Follow him on Facebook. I'm hitting the... Yeah. Follow him on Twitter. I'm giving him the doo-doo emoji. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this daily <this> sucks. <laughs> is this, or is this the person that made it? <laughs> if he did, he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. No, I meant like the actual like. The t- Look, okay. everyone is dumb because of this person. No, no, because if you go back Effect to the one that we did, it came up with like, a different person's name. Who must have been the creator? Oh yeah. Okay, that's the creator. Okay. Which means that the other person is a complete yes, idiot. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's uh that's our tier list. Thank you, Ben. I'm now disappointed. After we see the other guys' list. I'm- I like I'm, I'm, my the the uh, the YouTube community has no hope. Disappointing. If you like this video, go check out Ben. Yes. Um. Down the we below. yeah we I, do. I, just, I put my hand as a down the below over here, but it's here. It's like there. Um. Yeah. 
Uh, we collab all the time. Like, and he's on all the podcasts at this point Pretty too. Much. So yeah, go check him out. He's blowing up right now. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next vid. Thanks. See you.